Hello quilters and would-be quilters. Good that you're with us again today. And uh, we're going to be talking about the position of your hand on top of the quilt because this is very fundamental to enable you to have absolute flexibility and protection for your hand. And I'll just show you to start with what it's about. You're going to learn to work with your needle in a position that you've never done before. But before we go on with that, I'm going to be talking a little bit about where this comes from and why. I grew up Amish, and for the Amish, quilting is nothing unusual. It's part of their everyday life. They make their quilts for warmth. They put their tops together in the family, and when it's time to quilt, they invite all their friends and, and relatives, if, if whoever has time, to come together and quilt this quilt, often in one day. So quilting together is a really highlight a social event. All the ladies come with their preschool children, their tools in their pockets, and something for the, for the potluck dinner. And as a small child, I got to be there. As long as you don't go to school, you can go along with mama to these quiltings. The quilt is set up in a simple Amish quilt frame. Sitting all around the sides are the ladies with their tools, and everyone is working on the quilt. Children are playing underneath or around, wherever. And I was always a part of it, curious as I was. I liked to see what the ladies were doing. Playing under the quilt was fun too, but uh, the, uh, to see the ladies' quilt was a very fascinating thing, and I often sat and just watched them. And when I was four, that wasn't enough anymore. I needed to try it. And that I was absolutely allowed to have a needle and thread and try to do what I can do without a, without a knot so that it could easily be pulled out until it was good enough to stay in. What I was not aware of is that by sitting there with those ladies, I automatically, without ever thinking of it, learned how to pick up the needle so that my hand is in the right position. All of you have, are used to sewing by hand, I'm sure, and a lot of you have quilted, no doubt, too. And you've often been shown to pick up the needle like this, which works well for a lot of things. But what we want to learn today is to be able to use your hand in a much more flexible way. And to do this, I want to explain what the difference is in your hand position and what it allows you to do or not to do. When you pick up a pen, you're going to pick it up like this. Notice that your wrist is horizontal, which allows you only about 45 degrees of flexibility. But suppose you look at how you pick up a glass, and all of a sudden you can bring your wrist even over 180 degrees. Your wrist is now in a vertical position. And this is the secret of being flexible with your hand. Now we're going to do it with the needle in a, with the needle in a vertical position. How am I going to pick this up? Like this? No. Your hand has to be in a vertical position. So I pick it up between my ring finger or my third finger and my thumb. Feels funny. You don't pick up needles like that, do you? And you've probably never been shown to do it that way. Some of you will be doing it automatically because you weren't aware that you knew how to do this. Pick up that needle, roll it back and forth between your thumb and your finger. Because this is a completely new experience for your hand. And to be able to remember how to do this and to be comfortable with it, you're going to have to practice this position so often until it becomes a habit. Because to become a habit, your body has to remember it even when your brain isn't engaged. It just does it because that's the way you do it. So to practice and get that feeling, put the needle upright into the material. Pick it up. Roll it back and forth between your thumb 
and your ring finger. Think about what you're doing and how it feels. Repeat this 50 times. After 50 times, it's not so strange anymore. Now you're ready to pick up a thimble. Do the same thing with your thimble, bringing the thimble to the eye of the needle. Now you've got control of the needle. But put it back into the material, pick it up, connect your thimble with the eye of the needle. Do that 50 times. If you practice both of these things 50 times, it won't be strange to you on the next time when we're ready to go on further. But to be able to do that, we're going to go talk about some tools next time to enable you to do these things in a very protective way, also to simplify the quilting. So practice this and don't forget, practice makes perfect and practice makes habits that you want to learn and keep. So if you have questions or comments, just leave them in comments below. If this video has been helpful to you and you'd like to learn more, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified when the next video is going to be. And don't forget, quilting connects more than three layers of fabric.